Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious, moist, butter streusel coffee cake from scratch. Now, a coffee cake has different meanings. Um, a coffee cake could actually be a cake with coffee in it. But in this case, this uh, type of cake complements the coffee. So that means that you have a slice of cake with some coffee on the side. And that's basically it. It's a simple, easy recipe. It basically is a buttered flavored cake with cinnamon swirl. It also has a streusel topping right on top. This recipe calls for about six to eight servings. It's simple, easy, flavorful, goes well with a nice cup of coffee. Absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all that you'll need to make your butter streusel coffee cake. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some swan's down cake flour. You're also going to need some all-purpose flour as well. You also need some sugar, salt, baking soda, unsalted butter at room temperature, large eggs at room temperature, whole milk at room temperature, sour cream at room temperature, vanilla extract, butter extract, cake batter extract, and some ground cinnamon. And for your tools, you will need a small food processor. You will also need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. And to bake your cake, you're going to need a 9-inch round glass or metal pan. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So we're going to first start by making our streusel topping. So in the small food processor, I'm going to add 2 3rd cup of all-purpose flour. three tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, cold, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of butter extract. Pulse or blend this for 30 seconds to one minute. It's ready. Okay, I've transferred the flour mixture into this small bowl. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of the flour mixture and just put it in the palm of my hand like that. And from there, as you can see, the dough comes together. And from there, I'm going to just crumble it like that. And there we have it. Our streusel topping is ready. Now you're going to place this into your refrigerator until it's ready to be added on top of your coffee cake. Here's a quick troubleshoot. If you're having issues with your streusel topping not being able to come together and it's still very, very crumbly, what you're going to do is you could add about a half a teaspoon of cold water and just take your hands and just bring it together and it should come together from there. All right. Okay, let's get started with the preparation of our ingredients for our cake batter. So find dry ingredients. Here I have a medium sized bowl with a mesh strainer. You can also use a cake sifter as well. I'm going to add one and one fourth cups of cake flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm going to sift all the ingredients into this medium sized bowl. Stir all your ingredients together. Okay, now for our wet ingredients, here I have a small bowl. I'm going to add two thirds cup of whole milk at room temperature. A half a cup of sour cream at room temperature, one and one half teaspoons of butter extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth teaspoon of cake batter extract. This is for presentation purposes only. Here I have some buttercup yellow gel paste food coloring. Here I have a toothpick and I just dipped it in there as I just want a little bit. And from there I'm going to swirl it into the liquid. And from there, I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to stir all the ingredients together until combined. There we go. Okay, let's begin the preparation of our cake batter. So in our stand mixer bowl, fit it with the paddle attachment. I'm going to add one and one half sticks of unsalted butter, soften in at room temperature. Right on in there. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. I'm going to start my mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Then I'm going to turn my mixer up to the highest setting and I'm going to mix this on high speed for 4 minutes. At some point during those 4 minutes, you're going to go ahead and stop your mixer and you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Continue mixing that in. 
All right. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now I'm going to start my mixer on a medium speed and I'm going to add two large eggs in at room temperature, one at a time. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Next, we're going to alternate the cake flour mixture and the milk and sour cream mixture into the batter. And since this is a smaller cake batter, we're only going to add the dry and wet ingredients in here two separate times. We're not doing any measurements or anything like that. So first things first, we're going to add the cake flour mixture. It's the first half. And the first half of the milk and sour cream mixture. I'm going to mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Next, I'm going to add the second and final amount of the cake flour mixture. And the second and final amount of the milk and sour cream mixture. And again, I'm going to mix this on a medium low speed for about 15 to 20 seconds or until combined. All right, scrape down the sides of your bowl and our coffee cake batter is now ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my pie pan with the Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 325 degrees. Add your prepared cake batter into your baking pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread your cake batter around your baking pan as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake your pan slightly. Next, sprinkle a generous amount of cinnamon on top of the cake batter. It doesn't have to be a specific amount, just sprinkle it on top. From there, take a spoon and just swirl the cinnamon into the cake batter. And from there, just spread it around as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake your pan. Add your streusel mixture. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Add as much as you like. Now it is ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 325 degree oven on the bottom rack. Bake this for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, it's been about 30 to 35 minutes now. Let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Now, a toothpick inserted into the coffee cake should come out clean. Let this cool for about two to three hours before you remove it out of the pan. Or you could just leave the cake in the pan and then when the cake cools off, you could just cut a slice and go from there. Now, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a troubleshoot option as well. So let's say for instance, you bake the cake and your streusel appears to be not so brown on the top. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna preheat your oven broiler to high. You're gonna set it to high and then you're going to place this into the broiler part of your oven for about 30 seconds to one minute. Make sure you monitor it and go from there. And then from, move, and from there, we'll move it out the broiler part of your oven. And there you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Butter Shrusel Coffee Cake made by New Orleans Native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious, homemade butter streusel coffee cake you can go to www.charliecookandrews.com you can also find me on facebook instagram and on twitter under the name charlie cook andrews stay tuned as charlie's taste test is coming up next can you wait ah now it's time to go ahead and take a bite look at this Nice and soft. I like that. Mm -hmm.
I really like the texture and the flavor of this cake. It's soft, it's moist, it has a nice butter flavor in there. It's not too sweet, it's just the right amount of sweetness along with that cinnamon and that streusel topping. You don't really need no icing or anything like that. It's absolutely delicious. Only thing I need now is a cup of coffee. <laughs> But man, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't drank coffee in so many years, I can't even tell you the last time I, I drank any coffee. So, but this goes wonderful with a cup of coffee. Anyways, give the recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.